Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading. It will be for March 2021 for the sign of Virgo. So let's pull your first card, Virgo. Okay, what do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. And I'm going to choose the first one. Okay, unless it falls out, which it has done. <laughs> I thought it might do when I said that. Okay, we have, okay, three cards. So think things through. Face your shadow. Look forward. Hmm. Something to do with how you're perceiving something and shadow is negative energy. There is a need to look forward, even look past that. Stand tall, look forward, face your demons. It's that kind of energy, Virgo. But really nice messages there, so let's pop those there. See if I've got enough room for three. We'll see how we go. Okay. Okay, what do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Virgos. What is the message from spirit? And remember, these are messages, Virgo. This reading is about messages. Okay, what do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Thank you. Okay, look forward. Think things through, face your shadow, look forward. And then we have hope. <laughs> um, very nice energy. We have your loved ones in the spirit world. No one to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. It feels like you're being given the light, you know, the shadow, and then we have the light of the candle. You're being given the illumination, maybe through your intuition or divine guidance here, on how you need to move forward. It feels very hermit energy, which is your card in the Major Arcana tarot deck. You know, illumination from within on how you need, how you move forward in your external environment. Oh my goodness. Your cards are so in sync. We have number 17, Galactic Healer. Move forward with an open mind. So be open-minded. Um, don't dismiss something this month. There might be something that you might dismiss here. Uh, and there's a message to think things through, reconsider. Again, keep your mind open this month, Virgo. Okay. And finally, the Archangel message. What do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Virgos. Thank you, March 2021. Your cards are flying out. We have... Dolphin, live joyfully in the present, Archangel Jules. An opportunity to live joyfully in the present, okay. I'm going to pull three cards, Virgo. The first card is the message from Spirit. The second card is what the message pertains to. And the third card is final words or any actions. Okay, so what do we have for Virgo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Virgo. What is the message from spirit for Virgo, March 2021? Thank you. Message from spirit. Thank you. Page of Wands. Very nice. Oh my goodness. Wow, the Knight of Swords. Love those energies together. Uh, and we have... <laughs> oh my goodness, Virgo. I think they're kind of over-egging this, but okay. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Very funny, okay. I mean, it's funny in the sense, in terms of the synchronicity of your reading, because the we have, there is good news. This is a card of good news to do with some kind of opportunity, offer, Something that's very much connected to your heart and soul. Remember, the one's energy is something that, it's, that you really want. Heart and soul energy, your passion, your desire, 
what drives you, what energizes you, what will bring you growth, um, even success, very good in terms of money, career, business as well, can be in terms of passions, desires, you know. Um, for example, the page of ones, yes, it can be to do with opportunities, career opportunities, business opportunities. It can be to do with passions and love. It can also be to do with, you know, if you visit somewhere or have visited somewhere in the past and all of a sudden you want to move there, it's a passion. It's what you want to take action towards. So it can be some positive news in that area too. There's definitely something very much connected to your path, some good news coming your way. Knight of Swords, we have the good news coming your way. <laughs> There is some news, piece of information, uh, knowledge, wisdom, communication, message, call it what you will, but it's bringing change. So two cards of positive news, positive news, news, information. Uh, it could even be feedback, you know, some kind of feedback or information or message that you're getting. And again, eight of wands, conversation, news that brings the shift. Now, this can be to link to travel. Um, for me, it can be distance. It can be online technology as well. So hearing through email, technology areas, opportunities or conversations here. For me, this can sometimes be a conversation leads to something solid too. You might be deciding to travel again, move. For some of you, you might be deciding to go for a new job opportunity and this is where you're getting really positive news and feedback. Change, change here. And it's bringing about the Ten of Cups. So, I mean, for some of you, you might be considering moving here and getting some good news. The shift is happening. You're making progress in a situation. Uh, and then finally, the final shift. So this can be, you know, what you're going through in March 2021. Um, it can also be news, progress to do with some kind of opportunity here um, that is going to bring the Ten of Cups your way. Like I said, I mean, this could be something exciting in terms of relationships, the happy home, marriage, uh, moving in together, could be some news to do with pregnancy as well. Um, you might be moving home, you know, again, that's to do with the passion, desire, can be to do with a job that brings happiness and contentment to your relationship. Uh, the, the Ten of Cups is the rainbow of blessings. I love the Ten of Cups energy because it is where you're exactly where you need to be, uh, feeling completely content as a result of what's happened here. Um, very, very beautiful energy, Virgo. I mean, I don't really know what more to say. It feels beautiful. So I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Virgo, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Final message. And the message is move forward with an open mind. You might need to think something through. If you're wanting to say no to something or put something off or delay something, the message is just be open-minded. If there's any negativities or fears or, you know, shadow energy around you, just be open-minded. <laughs> we have, we are proud of you and aware of your achievements, number 38. But, you know, this is the peacock and the peacock represents abundance in tarot. So I definitely get this abundant energy. You just... You know, feeling this full spectrum of colours, you know, opening up for you. It feels very beautiful indeed. I'm going to pull you one more card, Virgo, because it's such a lovely message. You're definitely positive news here. We have take control of the situation. We know you can do this. Number three. Yeah, number three is about manifesting new new beginnings you know beginning to what your hope dream and wish you're beginning to make it happen you're beginning to manifest it you're beginning to see the signs of it happening and there's definite progress with that knight of swords some news some progress positive feedback resulting in some positive news and the shift i love the energy here virgo it feels very beautiful so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful month for you all and i will see you next time thank you